In this video we're going to look at making and reading text files. Now I've already made two. I've got one called A-10 which is a military aircraft specs and that's just text in there and I've got one called Pi which is the first several numbers of Pi. So we're going to look at how we can access these. First the way I made these is you can go up here to add file when you click on that add file you name your file so whatever you want to name it and you can just type in what you want to include in that file now you notice that one of mine has dot txt for text and one doesn't and we'll address that at how we read those in just a minute I'm going to delete this file for now so we just have these two here and you can do this with any text file so first we're going to look at how to open it and to open it and read it we need to set a variable we'll just call a for a10 here we're going to look at this file first and we'll say we want to open we need to tell it what we want to open so for instance the file is named a10 text.txt so a10.txt and we need to make sure these match here so single quote single quote and we want to read it that's what this r is so we'll just start off with a simple print and we're going to print a dot read which is just reading the file so we open it here and in the print function we read the file and when we run that we see we just get an output of what the file is so we'll open that so you can see that that matches now if we didn't have this dot txt so for instance I'm gonna I'm gonna rename this file and I'm gonna rename it without dot txt that's fine but we don't include it in this if we do it that way so we just do a10 without the dot txt we run that notice we get the same output here okay let's say that we want to put that into a variable this is a string we want to assign it to variable airplane so we leave a equals open so we need to open the file here and we're gonna say a10 dot read and we're going to print airplane which is our variable oh actually we need to we called it a here we're not reopening the file we called it a here so we actually need to read a because that's what we called it in our first line so we'll run that and that you can see is stored under the variable airplane all of this is assigned to airplane here all right let's switch gears and we're gonna open up our pi file and just so that we can see that we'll go print a dot read just like we did with the first example we'll run that make sure it works and we see we get all of those numbers there all right let's say that we want to just output the first four characters so we're gonna we're gonna leave a equals open pi r's because we're gonna open it up and let's set a variable let's call it pn for pi number and we need to read that file but in this case we're only going to read four characters of it and we'll print out pn which is our variable we'll run that 
we can see our first four characters, so three is the first one, our decimal is the second, one is the third, four is the fourth. And let's add to that, so we're going to come down here and say pn equals, and we're going to do another read, and let's add another five here. We'll do print pn, and we can see what happens is it prints the first four here, and this these two lines here has it print 3.14, and then right after the four is a one, we'll go to look at our number here, right after the four is 15926, so what it does is it starts after this fourth character with this and reads the next five characters. So we see one, two, three, four, five characters after that. Now if we wanted to do all of this in succession, we could just add a plus into that. We'll run that. See this first line just does the first four characters, these lines here, and these lines here actually do all nine characters, so 3.141526.